What's going on there, folks? Good morning, uh, good afternoon, some out there. It is the Earth Master here on this Sunday, uh, February 27, 2022, is the date, about 11:15 a.m. California time, out here with uh, Missy Mimi's. How's it going, guys? And uh, just looking at the uh, earthquake activity around the globe today, we did add a, uh, did have the uh, USGS 24-hour map up here on the earthquake 3D globe. I have since added the. Uh, EMSC models, uh, therefore we're seeing uh, quite the uptick in at least earthquakes here on the globe because of that uh, added feature. So now we'll be able to see threes and some twos and whatnot in the international community, uh, including New Zealand as well, uh, USGS. Kind of slow when it comes to reporting um, international earthquakes for, for any size for that matter. So uh, therefore I got the USGS and the EMSC model here up on the Earthquake 3D globe. So if it looks like there's a lot more earthquake activity, that's the reason why I've uh, shown some of the threes and whatnot. But uh, latest earthquake out there, 2.8 into the South America region, pretty deep earthquake into the Peru Chile uh, Trench at uh, 230 kilometers below the surface. Uh, looking at the rest of the uh, map here on the USGS shows uh, well, some activity in the 4.0 threshold around the Chile area, uh, but also over here around the New Zealand area. These folks not reporting some movement that was taking place this morning, including a, uh, I believe it was a 4. Point, uh, uh, what are we? 4.7. 4.7. Yeah, Geo GeoNet here uh, reporting a 4.8 actually, hmm. 4.8 from their site, um, just at the North Island here, or just off the North part of New Zealand at the uh, Bay of Plenty, I believe that is, at 110 kilometers, pretty deep. I have seen quite a bit of movement up and down the board here. Of course, this goes back over the last uh, uh, 365 days, so it looks like there's a lot of earthquake activity here. It's because it's uh, uh, 365 days. So looking at at least within the past 24 hours or so, we had that 4.8 just off the North Island, and then uh, a 2.9 a little bit uh looks like in that same little swarm area that's been going on yeah right around the hastings area there on the map 2.9 see that there on the map so kind of watching that looks like the swarm may have been going dying down a little bit in the hastings area off the uh off of that region i can't remember exactly the name of that bay i was i was looking at this here hawks bay i believe it is uh, in that region so anyway uh earthquake activity continuing today uh, they report it as a weak earthquake, 4.8, and then again, 4.8 not showing up here on the USGS map. So we're going to be doing the uh, GeoNet coverage and also the EMSC models more often here. Uh, and we will try to uh, integrate the GeoNet into the Earthquake 3D globe as well. I know we can, uh, but I'm having some issues with uh, getting the amount of quakes from that server. Um, on the globe. You know, I don't want to clutter the globe too much from the GeoNet because they show like a bunch of earthquakes from 150 earthquakes or so and I don't want to have that many on the globe specifically from them. Anyway, EMSC model showing uh, 4.7. That was, uh, there was a 4.7 a couple days ago there further north into the Kermadec Trench but uh, today that 4.7 that we've seen or the 4.8 on the GeoNet server uh, these guys are showing a 4.7 within that region, so at least they're uh, at least they're getting in on the activity. Uh, back to the USGS map, uh, we'll move past the New Zealand area, and uh, things looking at least according to these folks pretty quiet along the Tonga region. Some movement taking place up here along the Papua New Guinea area with a couple fours kicking off here northwest of the Solomon Islands and a, uh, another 4.8 around the Indonesia area. Philippines looks pretty quiet today. Uh, up north around the Taiwan, Japan area, 4.5, and a little bit of movement into the Mariana Trench and Mariana Islands, uh, 226 kilometer deep, 4.5. That's a pretty deep earthquake here for this region. Uh, could start to see things really kick back up here with all this deeper movement. And also a swarm of activity here off of the east coast here of the... Uh, it's into the Kuril Kamchaka area. Yeah, kind it's of kind of off the northern island there of Japan, maybe um, within the K 
curl outside of the curl basin so it's yeah just right at, it, yeah i believe it's kind of i'm not 100 percent certain where the uh the, uh, the trench is in i'm guessing it's kind of probably around here where this bend is but either way it's within the japan trench curl kamachaka trench area seen uh, four earthquakes so far within the last 24 hours and they're back to back to each other you got two here two there uh some of it pretty deep or not super deep but at uh down there around the area where we would expect to see the uh uh the locked region and some also some shallower earthquake activity here to the uh to the north so gotta watch this region pretty closely uh there in the um in the trench region uh the aleutian trench area looking pretty quiet for the most part one little earthquake around the uh on alaska area fox islands 3.3 at 35 kilometers let's bring up the uh, all magnitude see what we got here not a whole lot of difference throughout the alaska region the course up here inland interior alaska typical earthquake activity nothing specifically swarming uh, or any unusual activity just uh, your typical day there in the uh, alaska area backing up out of here into the uh, states some uh, west coast movement kicking up here Looking at the activity last night uh, around the San, uh, was it San Cayetano fault zone up here. That uh, activity has died down at least a little bit following that 4.1 downgraded to a 4.0 from the USGS. Uh, shows the uh, little bit of aftershock sequences, including a 3.1 within that vicinity, 17.3 uh, kilometers. They did adjust the depth of the uh, four pointer to about 19 kilometers there having some issues here with this little window once again popping up somehow it decided to move automatically uh, right where uh, the hourglass is so uh, it's a little background image that's kind of just uh, it's a background window that's just kind of open on its own and it seems like it moves around at will and I don't know what it is but uh, it's, it's a little on the annoying side so anyway 3.1 the largest aftershock following that 4.0 from last night uh, some activity kicking up once again down through the uh, what is this fault system here? The uh, semi Santa Rosa fault zone. A little bit of activity kicking up here, but generally speaking, here all around this this area where we've seen that four pointer strike yesterday is having uh, an uptick in earthquake activity. So uh, any one of these faults here could go at any time. Uh, the San Cayetano fault there, uh, definitely a high builder in the in the. Uh, accumulated stress department with the uh it being a thrust fault quite a few thrust faults throughout this area uh let's see what else we got down in the san jacinto fault zone some activity kicking up there as well and a little bit of activity down south around the salton sea and the brawley seismic zone with a uh little handful of quakes around the brawley area a couple 1.2s that's the magic number down there in the south part of the state Ridgecrest area, seeing some activity as well. Uh, make sure I hit the recording button. Yes, we did. Sometimes I do that. I'll sit here and uh, do an update video and completely forget to hit the recording button. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, Ridgecrest, uh, a little bit of activity kicking up here. Looks more typical here. It's filling in a little bit. Nothing significant, just quite a few ones and some smaller microquakes there in that area of Ridgecrest and uh, Nevada. Uh, still seeing a little bit of activity. One within the last hour with a 0.9 near Mina. Northern part of the state. Northern California pretty quiet. Oregon's looking pretty quiet as well. No further major movement around the volcanoes at all. In the uh, Cascades, just a little activity here. A little microquake. But uh, generally speaking, the Pacific Northwest is awfully quiet here. About Northern California. Pretty much draw a line here. Northward uh, through that region is very quiet. Intermountain West region as well. There's not that uh, major swarming that we see up through the area. Just kind of uh, on the quiet side. West part, it's, or Texas out here on the Pecos, Texas area. A little bit of activity, a 3.1 and a 2.9 around the uh, Pecos, Texas area, Oklahoma. And uh, looks like around Enid as well, getting in on some activity, some shallow earthquake movement out there. This earthquake around the New Madrid zone is from yesterday, 1.8. Uh, 
Uh, but since then, nothing, uh, nothing happening overnight or this morning. Puerto Rico area, some activity kicking up here around the Puerto Rico Trench, but nothing within the last hour. And southwest of Puerto Rico, just uh, still seeing some swarming. Man, uh, that box. Good thing we don't have to check the shake map. <laughs> on what? On the, for that box. Yeah. So we can't even if click, you click on, on it. it. Yeah, I think I can barely. go off the side here a little bit, but there's like a invisible window, Thank and you. I'm not for sure what it is, and not for sure how it moved by itself. I don't know if it's malware. Hopefully not. Um, but it's just kind of there. So Hawaii, what's going on out here on the Big Island? Nothing within the last hour. All pretty clear. Uh, Mono Loa. Uh, still showing some movement over here along the western part. Looks like uh, some 1.9 and 2.2. Pretty deep earthquake activity here. Uh, looks like about 7 kilometers or so below the region. And of course, southeast flank, they're pretty active as typical, normal. And one little earthquake off the Lower Heath Seamount, a little 2.0. 14 kilometers. See, that one's a little deep. We're at. At the Lower Heath Seamount. Yeah, that is pretty deep out there. Over the last week, I don't think these guys have seen too much activity around that seamount area. Nope. That's the only, uh, that's really only the earthquake out there. The only one. Uh, let's see what else we got here. It's a little bit of activity out here around the Mediterranean Sea, it looks like. Uh, near Crete, 4.3 at uh, 36 kilometers. Nothing really going on in the Atlantic Ocean. The uh, rest of the EMSC model map here uh, pretty much verifies about the same thing as the USGS. It looks like a little 4.2 into the uh, is that the Mexico or Guatemala region? Let's see it looks here. Looks like Guatemala down there a little bit. A little bit of swarming kicking up here in the Middle America Trench. Uh, was the USGS reporting that? Nope. 4.2 down here. Of course, that uh, earthquake just occurred on the EMSC models. 1856. So you think, what? Oh, you think the USGS would get to that by now, but uh, maybe not. It is the weekend. They always seem to be very slow in the uh, updating department. Uh, let's check out the Yellowstone map here while we're on it. And uh, some still return to swarming. It looks like ice quakes and whatnot over here around the uh, borehole area of Yellowstone National Park. Just seen a lot of microquakes there. Um, oh, that's not the map. Let me go back over here. Is it the map? There we go. Uh, otherwise, the rest of the um, park out here looks pretty quiet for the most part. Not seen any major movement, any any uh, any microquakes for that matter over here around the rest of the region. see what we got here for solar weather I don't think we got too much going on here in the solar weather department uh, well and the yellow across the board for the uh, geomagnetic storming three-day forecast looks like uh, probably some coronal hole activity coming in um, creating these uh, these storming conditions here over the next few nights but uh, only 30 to 40 percent chance at the higher latitudes so nothing major but uh, Look for that. A couple coronal holes out here facing the Earth's side, and that's kind of what we're uh, seeing and witnessing here over the next few nights. Some small ones, nothing major. Some suns flaring back behind the back behind the bend here. We'll see what these uh, sunspots have to offer in the coming days. Just uh, for now, got 29.55, 29.54 with very minimal threat of any type of flaring whatsoever. Uh, looks like 15% chance of sea flare uh, from those sunspots facing the Earth. All right, folks, going to jump off here. Hope uh, everyone has a good day. And, oh, there's the USGS issuing that 4.2 on the globe now, right there. Let's uh, kind of want to see exactly where that's at on the uh, map here from the USGS. This one's not showing it that now. That's kind of odd. It might take a second How, well, for it to respond. It does that every now and then. It comes into the globe first. Well, the globe cool. uses the same servers as, as Unless the web page. Unless that's the EMSC reporting. That. It is. That's exactly what's going on. I forgot. See, we just changed the uh, the um, servers there on the globe. So what you're seeing is definitely uh, EMSC reporting of the 4.2. So that's kind of cool. I kind of want to add it on there for, uh, uh, but I don't know if the bells went off. 
It wasn't for wasn't for certain because last time we did this we had some issues with the bells well guys if you heard the bells can you let us know in chat um when that earthquake came in that would really help us out for sure uh let's see so we'll be kind of tweaking with this a little bit as far as the emsc the geonet and uh usgs models here on the globe kind of just want to make this globe a little bit more filling in far as general earthquake activity goes. Uh, of course, you know, the USGS issues a 4.0 and above, but I do want to uh, show all the other earthquake activity that's happening around the globe, including this, you know, pretty good swarm of threes over here around the Indonesia area. It's kind of good to monitor the activity there. And also down in New Zealand, very important part uh, in terms of monitoring activity throughout this region here. And uh, USGS just kind of leaves those folks out, and that's not cool. The GeoNet, like I said, I will try to uh, get that in the mix as well. Uh, but for now, the EMSC model doing a pretty good job of reporting earthquake activity within that region. Uh, so we'll go with them for now until we can uh, uh, put, put the uh, GeoNet here in the uh, globe. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe out there. We will chat to you a little bit later. And... Um, Enjoy the rest of the weekend out there. All right, guys. Stay safe. Peace out.